Hello guys, in this session we are going to discuss about IO using handshaking signal that is the second part of 8255. Here we have to learn about IO or input output interfacing using handshaking signal. In this session we are going to discuss about a input device let it be keyboard and a output device let it be printer. How it communicate with the microprocessor for interfacing or communicate between um, input devices or output devices to the microprocessor there will be need a circuitry this is called a programmable interfacing devices or 8255 that has been already discussed in the previous class in the programmable interfacing devices or 8255 have some input or output ports those are the port a port b port c that's all actually uh, here we are considering the input mode or input interfacing here the heading is input output using handshaking signal or handshake signal here we are considering only input interfacing or input signal using handshaking signal output signal using hand second that, that is the another part uh, we are considering an input device that is the keyboard and there are some signal lines data lines stb means strobe these are the strobe strobe signal ibf means input buffer rd rd var read bar these are the active low strobe and rd var and strobe bar is the active low signal system data bus data lines INTR interrupt request these are the signals so let me discuss them using some signals these are the signals and some diagrams first input device that is the keyboard when a user when a user has press a key on a keyboard then input device or keyboard produce a scan code or data code produce a scan code or data code then this data coming through these data lines through some input ports and it is stored or it is kept it is kept into the input buffer or input register here programmable interfacing devices some input buffer input data bus buffer or input register this this data or scan data stored in the input buffer after putting this data to the input buffer it also enable the strobe signal what are the function of this strobe signal strobe signal making making it understandable that is there there in the input buffer the data has been sent please check it strobe signal enable it the data has been sent to you your input buffer please check it then programmable interfacing devices enable the IVF line or input buffer line enable this line actually when programmable interface devices interfacing devices or 8255 enable this line actually programmable interfacing devices recognize the data the which data sent through the keyboard to programmable interfacing devices then strobe signal has been disabled by the input devices and IVF is enabled when IVF is enabled, actually IVF indicating that please don't send me another data. I whenever programmable interfacing devices send or enable the IVF line to the input devices, input device, it said to the input device that don't send me the another data because the data already sent through the input devices if you send 
me to another data the data the new data override the first one so please don't send me the any data ibf signal enable the ibf signal indicating that don't see, send me another data uh, then programmable interfacing device or 8255 enable the interfin to the microprocessor unit actually this interfin and uh, want to understand the micro want to make understand the microprocessor the data already sent to the programmable interfacing devices to the input buffer or input register please this data this data read it then microprocessor unit enable the rd bar signal or read bar signal after making this pin enable after making this signal or line enable the data which data stored or keep kept into the input buffer through the system data bus some through the some ports it has been read by the microprocessor unit through the system data bus when the microprocessor unit when the microprocessor unit is reading the data reading this data through this line then intr pin also disable after completing the read the or read the whole data actually the initial data then programmable interfacing devices disable this line i disable the ibf line now the user or input device can send another data byte or data word then if user again press a key on a keyboard the process again repeatedly done here the process again repeatedly done uh, there there will be a timing diagram for input signal here the first signal strobe along this data line enable the strobe signal first signal in a, which signal is enable strobe signal is enable then programmer interface devices ibf signal making the ibf signal enable after that strobe signal has been disable then it programmable interface devices making the intr pin is enable after that microprocessor enable the read signal after completing the read signal ibf has been disable so first in the timing diagram we can see this is the timing diagram for hands input hand checking signal first these are the ibf input buffer strobe intr read strobe and rd bar this timing diagram is very much meaningful to the uh, for the hand checking signal very much meaningful these are the ibf strobe and rd these are the active low so the bar signal or the bar symbol is above this word strobe and rd ibf strobe int read input data these are the input data first strobe signal has been enabled these are the strobe signal then ibf pin has been enabled these are the ibf pin ibf pin is after that after enable the strobe signal ibf pin is enable or ibf signal is enable so after making enable actually uh, this is the negative logic or active low signal so these are the active low signal downwards so after strobe signal enable the ibf signal is an ibf there is no bar so it is a active high signal after enable strobe signal ibf signal is enable then again the strobe signal is disable 
after stop signal is disabled uh, 8255 of vid enable the interrupt signal interrupt is active high signal so after disable disable the stop signal interrupt pin is enable here interrupt pin or interrupt signal after uh, interrupt enable red microprocessor enable the red signal so red signal after reading completing the reading also disable the input buffer also disable these are the disable these are disable disable the input signal these are the total timing diagram for input signal and this this that is the process input using hand shaking signal thank you